Hey there, Dana G with DGTV. We're in a hotel in downtown Vancouver today. We're going to meet with Elaine Chirral. Now, Elaine's a handwriting specialist, and she's going to look at my handwriting. And I have to tell you, I'm a little concerned because, um, well, my handwriting, not so great. Okay, we're here with Elaine. Now, Elaine is a Bix handwriting expert. Now, Elaine, tell us what about handwriting. You're going around and actually talking about it. Handwriting is the big news, and handwriting is extremely popular for people to do. So popular, in fact, that 61% of Canadians, according to Bix survey, say that they would far rather have a handwritten note of congratulations or job well done from the boss than any other form of communication. Could you help me improve my handwriting? Improve, uh, put quotes around the word improve. Most people, Dana, don't like their writing. Yeah. But once oh, really? You know, okay. But once you know what that writing says about you, it actually, you'd be surprised. You said that your writing was scary. I would say from just from that, that it is probably extremely original, and that's why you're doing the beautiful work you are. Well, you know what I have to tell you, though? I've had people refer to it and point it out as it looks like the handwriting of a 10-year-old sociopath. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, they, it's only because they don't know. Right. The message about handwriting analysis and handwriting per se is that it is a paper mirror of you at any given time. You're scaring me. So you can change certain select aspects of your writing and if you know what to change, you can transform aspects of your personality. Okay, I'm going to do the second half of this in cursive so we have some variety. So let's see. Please note below your favorite saying or your philosophy of life. Well, it's a family uh, newspaper so we can't put down my favorite saying. So let's go with uh, all right, Elaine, there it is. I have to tell you, though, like I said, I'm really nervous about this. Your writing is beautiful. It is incredibly <gasps> original. It is incredibly original. When I say it, it's because it's the deeper reason it is beautiful. I like both your cursive writing and your print writing. Both of them are excellent. I can tell without even having seen you write this that your writing is extremely quick which reflects your quickness of mind and your desire for quick action and quick decisions. <laughs> there are no lead-in strokes at all to your writing, which means you're very direct. You like to know, you like to be straight with other people and uh -huh. let them know where you stand and you appreciate the same treatment, oh vice versa. Can you phone my one of my elementary school teachers and tell them that you like my handwriting? The fact that you have deviated from that indicates your originality and you are a very I original love you, person. Elaine. <laughs> You're awesome. Okay, well, let's look at this a little bit closer. If you have T-bars that angle down, you are very much like Donald Trump. I mean that as a compliment <laughs> because it means you must take charge. You are brilliant at taking charge. The A's and O's are all open, which means you love to share your ideas and thoughts with others. You have to. If Gene Kelly had to dance, you've got to talk. I love Gene Kelly. You've got to talk. I'm bossy. Does that say that I'm bossy? You are in charge, my dear. Both of your H's in your print and your cursive have a breakaway stroke in the middle of the letter, which is initiative, which means you don't wait, you don't do lineups or windows. You just go for the gusto and you do what has to be done. The I want to hug you right now. Don't tell your husband, but you do love variety. What it means <laughs> oh, is that you... Now you're making me uncomfortable. I went from wanting to hug you now. <laughs> when I say you're the F word, I mean you are one heck of a lot of fun. You're fun to be with and you're fun to work with because you're always up to mischief. You never know <laughs> what's going to happen. So if you were hired by a corporation uh, to consult and they looked, you looked at my handwriting, would you... Uh, the Tell one, them to hire me? The one thing I would say is do not bore this lovely lady because if she's bored, she will leave very quickly. You've got to keep her stimulated. And lots of money. Say lots of money. With lots of money and she needs, she's, she's a prosperous person. You need to, she needs to prosper in your company. This has been excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Mind I feel way better about myself leaving here. Mind your P's and Q's. <laughs> you couldn't help yourself, could you? got some big pen trivia I bet you don't know about. Go for it. Jerry Seinfeld always wrote with big pens. That was his thing. Always had to have a big pen. It shows that Jerry Seinfeld was a, is a very smart gentleman.